hello out there welcome to this tutorial again on probability we'll be looking at combination of events in this video we look at product law this is part one of this video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the part two still on product law first we need to state the product law given the events e1 e2 e3 up till en the probability of e1 and e2 and e3 and up till en happening is the product of their respective probabilities that is probability of e1 intersection e2 intersection e3 intersection up till en is probability of e1 times probability of e2 times probability of e3 times probability of up till en and remember by set notation and is intersection and the intersection is product with respect to probability so we look at independent events when two events e1 and e2 occur and the outcome of e1 does not affect the outcome of e2 then the two events are said to be independent events this is also applicable to more than two events in which their occurrences do not affect one another the probability that both of them occur is the product of individual probability that is the product law is applied so we take some examples so example one a dice is rolled and a coin is tossed at the same time find the probability of getting a a three and a head b an even number and a tail c a multiple of three and a head so starting from a part of the problem and we need to get the sample space for the s1 that is uh, rolling a die a die is numbered one to six on each of the faces and there n of s1 is six and for s2 we have the head and the tail that is the faces of the coin and the n of s2 is two so therefore starting from a the probability of getting a three and a head remember this is an example of an independent event the probability of getting um, is three from the die is not affected by the probability of getting a head from the coin so this is an example of independent event Therefore, the probability of getting a three and a head will be probability of getting a three times probability of getting a head. So that probability of getting a three is one over six. Since there is only one three in the sample space of S1, then times probability of getting a head is one over two. So that simplifying this, we have our final answer as one over 12 that is 1 times 1 gives 1 and 6 times 2 gives 12 that's the end of solution to example 1a we go to b um, for b probability of getting an even number or a tail is also still the same thing as probability of getting an even number times probability of getting a tail so in the sample space of s1 the even numbers there are two four and uh, six since there are three the probability of getting an even number will be three over six then times probability of getting a head which is one over two so we simplify to get one over four since three goes into six to give two so one over four is the answer to example to be so we go to c for c a multiple of three and a head that is still going to be 
probability of getting a multiple of three times probability of getting a head. In this case, um, the multiples of three we have in this sample space is three and uh, six. So that's going to give us the probability of getting a multiple of three to be two over six times probability of getting a head one over two and the two will go with two here we'll be left with one over six as the final answer to example one c and that is the end of solution to example one c we go to example two for example two two coins are tossed at the same time find the probability of obtaining a two heads b two tails c one tail um here we need to get all the outcomes of throwing uh two coins and since they are two coins we are going to have four um outcomes that is in our sample space we are going to have it as head head and head tail tail head and tail tail these are the outcomes forming the sample space now from a the probability of getting two heads um in the sample space there is only one outcome with two heads therefore we have it as one over four and um without the sample space the probability of getting head from the first coin is one over two and the probability of getting head from the second coin is also one over two so one over two times one over two will still give us one over four and for b the probability of getting two tails there's only one outcome there that contains two tails so that's going to give us also one over four and uh, finally the probability of getting one tail uh, there are two outcomes there with one tail each so we are going to have it as two over four and simplified to become one over two and that's the end of solution to example two we go to example three a box contains four blue and six white marbles a marble is selected at random and then replaced. A second marble is selected. What is the probability that A, they are both blue, B, they are both white, C, one is blue and one is white? So um, we need to get the information. For blue, there are four white there are six and the total of 10 marbles and since two marbles are selected one after the other and the first one replaced before picking the second one this is an example of independent event now since after picking the first one it is replaced before picking the second one so they don't have effect on each other that is the first choice has no effect on the second choice now we start with a probability of both blue that is blue blue and that is the probability of picking the first one blue times probability of picking the second one blue so probability of picking the first one blue is four over 10 and times probability of picking the second one blue since it is replaced we still have four blue marbles there that will still give us four over 10 and uh, this is simplified to give us uh, two over five times two over five and that gives four over 25 and that's the end of solution to 3a then we go to 3b for 3b both white uh, for both white also this probability of picking the first one white times the probability of picking the second one white probability of picking the first one white is 6 over 10 times the probability of picking the second one white since it is replaced we see be 6 over 10 
and uh, this is simplified to be 3 over 5 times 3 over 5 giving us 9 over 25 and that's the end of solution to example 3b we go to 3c probability of picking one blue and one white there are two possibilities here either the first one is blue and the second one is white or the first one is white and the second one is blue so we'll treat it accordingly remember our addition law or means addition so we look at the probability of the first one blue multiplied by the probability of the second one white then the probability of the first one white multiplied by the probability of the second one blue so we have it as probability of picking the first one blue is 4 over 10 times the probability of picking the second one white is still 6 over 10 plus probability of picking the first one white is 6 over 10 times probability of picking the second one blue is still 4 over 10 so if you look at this it is as good as they are the same number added together which we can just multiply one by two and it will still give us the same sum so that we now have it as 2 over 5 times 3 over 5 then we just multiply by 2 over 1 since this is the same number plus the same number so we just multiply by 2 this gives 12 over 25 and that's the end of solution to example 3 we go to example 4 two bags a and b contain identical beads of different colors a contains seven red and five green beads while b contains six red and four green beads one bead is picked at random from each of the bags find the probability that they are a the same color b different colors um here this is another example of independent event. The probability of picking from bag A does not affect probability of picking from bag B. So we look at what we are given from bag A. Um, the red is 7 and green is 5. There the total is 12. From bag B, we have a six red and four green and a total of 10. Starting from A, the probability of picking the same color is the probability of picking red from A, red from B, or picking green from A and green from B. Okay, so we go ahead we apply product law and addition law here probability of picking um red from a is 7 over 12 times probability of picking red from b is 6 over 10 then plus probability of picking green from a is 5 over 12 times probability of picking green from B will be 4 over 10. Remember, same color red, red, or green, green. So we go ahead to simplify. I want to work in the same uh, denominator. Remember this. The numerators are not the same so you cannot just simplify one and multiply by two as we did in the previous example so we have a uh, seven times six is a uh, 42 over 120 plus 20 over 120 so since the denominators are 
the same so we just add the numerator that's going to give us 62 over 120 which is simplified to be 31 over 60 and that's the end of solution to problem 4a we go to 4b um different colors for being different colors it is either red green from a and b or green from a and red from b so we have it as probability of red from a and green from b or probability of green from a and red from b so we treat that accordingly so probability of getting red from a probability of getting red from a will be 7 over 12 times probability of getting green from b will be 4 over 10 then plus probability of getting green from a is 5 over 12 times probability of getting red from b is 6 over 10 again this is 28 over 120 plus 30 over 120 and this gives 58 over 120 in the simplest form we have it as 29 over 60 and that's the end of solution to example 4 and this is the end of this tutorial for part 1 please check the description section of this video on our youtube channel for other videos on probabilities until i come your way again goodbye